this back door, right? I have the, the button here. If I press this, this piece will open. See? But then this won't open. No matter what I do, I'm most likely going to be able to fix it. I'll try. So as you can see, I got the door open. And this is what the problem was. This is an actuator. And this is where it goes. This is why your door won't lock or open. And if you look right there, you'll see your handle moves up and down. This is where the problem is. And if you can get a screwdriver in there and push that down all the way, it will go past the point of where the handle can push it and it will unlock the door. And it's raining again. I'm just gonna have to do this in the rain. Okay, hey, my name is Gavin. This is GPTV. And in one of the previous videos, you would have seen that I couldn't get this door open. I got myself a table with a new uh, door card and um, the, the trims that go around this part. So yeah, I'm gonna fit them as well. Look at this. Just from leaving the boot open in the rain. Look at this, you can see a trail coming down. Just from leaving the boot open in the rain. I just decided to get into the car out of the rain because I was just, all I was doing is just drowning in the back of the car that I just cleaned. And now that I'm inside, the sun's after coming out. <laughs> That's Ireland. I'm just gonna show you how to change the actuator in your door. If the door is locked, now this is the back door. This is where I had to do this from. This back door would not open. Um, if any of your doors in your car doesn't don't open, it's because of the actuator that controls the locking mechanism. It either won't open or it won't close, it won't lock. Most Hondas, this goes in most Hondas. If you're lucky, this will break as the door is open, rather than in my case, this broke while the door was locked. So whoever owned this vehicle before me obviously took this out and tried to get in at the lock, but still never done it. And you can see all this damage here as well. They were trying to trying to get in at the side here, but it's actually just in there, right there. This piece here connects onto the actuator and the actuator is just here. And this is what is gone wrong in the car. This is why you can't open it. So if this happens in the boot of your car, don't remove this part first. Don't remove this because then you'll just have to replace all of this. If you remove this part first and then these parts, then this will come off much easier. So what to do is, all of this rubber here, try to pull the rubber out of the way and just get your fingers in and pull it out straight. There's four clips on it and it should just come off like that. One of them is still up there. Once you have this one off, it's a lot easier to get these ones off then. So just pull it off. And you see now what's holding it on. There's just a, an orange clip there, and then there's a white clip up there. They just pull outwards. And the same over this side, just pull, pull it sort of from that corner there. And then down here where the other clip is, just pull, 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 pull. There we go. That's probably the easiest way of getting this off with the door closed. It's, it's very difficult. If the door was open, it'd be great, but the door is not open, it's, it's closed. So to try to get these off with the door closed is a lot harder than if the door was open. Anyway, so next I'm just gonna take this whole panel off and this is a lot easier to get off. Now you can take this off before all the other parts, but just to save yourself any damage to anything, you're better off taking the top parts off before the bottom part. And again, this is all just held on with clips. So the, the, the worst clip is here. It's the one that this, this will definitely break or separate if you just pull. You also need to remove this. This is just a plastic cover. Underneath this plastic cover, there is a screw. It pulls down this way. Once you have these main ones off here, you just basically pull everything out towards you. Be careful of this piece here. You probably will break it. Now also, if you can, open this window as well.
And as you can see, somebody has definitely broke this one before. Um, I knew it was broken. That's why I got a new, uh, a new door card inside. So you're most likely going to break this. So you can see that that part there connects onto your actuator. And if you push it all the way down, it should pop open. So once you have it open, it's a lot easier to get in at this here actuator. Firstly, just remove these plugs. So after removing these two plugs, you need to just pay attention to everything that's in here. Pay attention to how it all works. And you will have to remove a couple of screws just to get, um, just to get the actuator out. But one of the first things you will have to do is remove these three screws. So these will be hard to remove. So I have an impact driver. Basically put it on like that and hit it with a lump hammer. Now before removing this last screw, just release this clip first. Then try to remove it, just like that. Now just remove the final screw. Now just slide it out sideways, like so. Now just set the two of them side by side, the new one and the old one, and you'll see what way it works. So basically you just have to remove all of this to get this out, to put this new one in, and that piece there that, that the rod was connected to connects in the back there down to this. So start removing these screws. Now just place it back in. Now try to get this bar in here. It's very awkward to do while I'm filming, but and then push. Ah, I missed it. Hard to do with one hand. Just try to clip this in. Get in. Get in. Go on. Ah, no, missed it. There we go. There we go. Yes. Now line it up and put the screws in. I'll try the door and see if there's a lock. Yeah. I got this new panel, but it's a lot more scratched up than the old one. There's the old one. It's not as scratched up, but my old one is missing this. And if you have a look in the back, it's actually broken. So the person that done this broke this off. So I'm gonna keep this one and Clean it up a bit. Of course, it's starting to rain again, but I got the panels in, I got the table in, and as you can clearly see, that table should be black. I think it should be black. So I might paint this eventually black. I think I might change this carpet, put a rubber mat in or something. It just doesn't look that great. Still sand in it, look. Can't get the sand out. Anyway, it's all done. That's it, that's the end of the video. Um, please come back for more, because there will be more. But uh, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's all done. Thanks very much for watching the video. Please like it, give it a comment, and um, share it with people. And if your actuator is gone in your door, that's how you do it. Thanks, bye-bye.